or a George and the Jungle? And it's about, I think no, nah, I don't know. About well, that hold one. on, hear me out. It's about okay. a guy named it's George Brandon Fraser, and he invents a time machine so he can. But the time machine also travel. It's not just time travel; also goes to different places. Okay. So he sets the machine to go to the jungle back in like the 1930s or whatever, back mm-hmm. before it had been deforestized. Yep. And he lives in the current time. And, uh, you know, you can't really get away with using the N-word now. Sure. So he uses a time machine to go to a secluded jungle back in the 1930s. Right. Because he, he wants to say it, but in an ethical to, way. Well, scream it, yeah, in a jungle. Back while Does hit. it have to be a jungle? Uh, well, yeah, that's why it's George and the jungle. Okay. It's like a George Collins. Why does he? Can I ask you this? Why does he want it to be the jungle? Because uh, that's the name of the movie. Okay. <laughs> why does he have to do it in the jungle? Does he have? My question is: Does he have racist motivations for the jungle? No, he just wants to scream the word. Somewhere. And he thinks the jungle is the safest place. He thinks the jungle in the 1930s during the rise of fascism and Hitler. <laughs> that's a, he's got one. <laughs> He's got. They're like, all right, we can send one well, guy they, back to the thirties. Yeah, that's he the thing is they stole. It. They st- He stole the time machine technology, so that it had been. De- it was being developed to go back in time and stop Hitler and the Holocaust. Right. But it drops you off. It has to go to a secluded place in the jungle because it will fuck up the time thread. Right, of course. If there's any evidence of you, like you can't just show up in Berlin. People will be like, oh, time travel's real. Right. You're like, yeah, I have to kill or stop Hitler. Right. Because then, you know, the Hitler was planning for that. A lot of people don't know the Nazis. Their number one thing was like, somebody's going to come back in time and try to stop this. Yeah. So that yeah. was actually a lot of people now, they get into this thing about like, oh, did the Russians actually win World War II? No. It was, <laughs> Nazi Germany was so worn down by internal time traveler battles mm. that they didn't have the effort to uh, really engage on the Western Front. I didn't know that. Yeah. So, okay, so George... George has to... He steals the time machine, and he goes, he just gets in it, and it takes him to a jungle in the 1930s, and he doesn't understand why he's there, because he actually never learned about the Holocaust. He was too busy wanting to say the N-word. Yeah. I mean, he's a simple guy with simple pleasures. Um, and, uh, and so he's like, well, I guess they sent me back here to scream the N-word in the jungle. And he's doing that, and then... You don't explore. It's like, good, good Lord, sir, what the devil are you doing? <laughs> and he's like, I, I don't know. I got in this thing. I think it's a time machine. I'm from the year 2021, and you're not allowed to say the N word in the future. Mm-hmm. And I stole this time machine from Harvard, uh, or like Jewish Harvard or whatever. <laughs> and because uh, in the future, Harvard, uh, all the school, they stop pretending. Yeah. And they're like, now society will name its kings. And so things are named like Jewish Harvard or Jeffrey Epstein, Microsoft. (laughs) Yeah, because Bill wanted to honor his dead friend. Yeah, he left his wife to have sex with Jeffrey Epstein. Whoa, for real? That's why they got divorced is because Bill Clinton or Bill Gates. Bill Gates and Bill Clinton were having... Satanic gay sex. Triple gay sex with Jeffrey Epstein? Yeah. And then once that ended, he was like, well, there's no point in pretending to be married anymore. Anyways, what was the other dumb thing I was walking through? George and the Jungle? George and the Jungle. (laughs) And the British guy, you know, and he's like, well, who are you? And he's like, well, I'm Lord Sherlock Holmes. (laughs) Well, you're... Is it George Sherlock Holmes or I'm, I'm, Sherlock Holmes? Well, I'm Captain because Sherlock you're Sherlock Holmes. Holmes-o. Well, I'm Captain Sherlock Holmes. Well, I'm Sherlock Holmes. Well, I'm, <laughs> hey, I'm Sherlock. Well, Holmes. well, I'm Captain Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> and he's like, "Aren't you that guy that beat his wife, Amber Heard?" And he's like, "Ah, a fellow time traveler." <laughs> Wait, so this is Johnny Depp, and he's hiding out, trying to escape. He's hiding out in the 30s, and he's like, just uh, a little thing about the time travel. You're not supposed to tell people the time traveling. It's okay with me because I'm also from the future. Right, right. And I stole the time machine from Jewish UCLA. <laughs> and they all go back to the 30s because they're supposed to stop Hitler. Because all they've, they've completely programmed it to stop the Holocaust. Yeah, but I've I, the kid just drops you in this jungle, which I've been using to pretend to be my character, Captain Sherlock Holmes, <laughs> and you're clearly here to just scream the N-word. <laughs> 
But together we can team up, and this is where this is where you actually get a story out of the thing. I love that. We can team up to combine our interests, and you can say the N word, but in like a pirate character, right? And so then he becomes Blackbeard, the N word saying pirate of the mm-hmm. jungle. Wow. Yeah. And so are they going to stop Hitler or are they just chilling out? No, neither of them really have any particular interest in stopping Hitler because they saw what happened to UCLA and Harvard and they're like, well, maybe, maybe he gets another chance. Yeah. Maybe we'll just like, obviously Hitler is going to fail anyways. Right. What is that? But go back in time and stop Hitler. And it's like, stop Hitler from what? They lost the war. I think you could say it did a nice amount of damage while losing the war though. Like what? (laughs) <laughs> well, I think you could say the Holocaust Yeah, but the Jews won the Holocaust I, I wouldn't say I wouldn't say they won I, mean, I, wouldn't, I wouldn't use the phrase the Jews won Well, they the won, Holocaust. the camps got shut down Saying to go back in time to stop Hitler So that what? Okay, so now the premise is we need to invent time travel So no Jew ever dies Ever <laughs> That's your argument <laughs> Is no, that, I mean, I think there's, the I'm things? driving, I think there's a stark difference <laughs> between a Jew dying of natural causes and no, six yeah. million being let rounded me, up into camps. Let me get this straight. <laughs> Is that, yeah, that's to stop Hitler from, from doing what exactly? <laughs> 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 Just the guy at the time travel meeting. Okay. Oh, there's no other stuff we could do with yeah. it. That's the thing is to stop a guy that f- uh, we know failed. He failed. Oh, but I guess the Twin Towers did go down, but those that's not a big deal. Yeah. We shouldn't stop that from happening. Yeah. Okay. I guess mm. we see who runs everything here. Yeah. Yep. That, that makes sense to me. <laughs> I'm over here. Saying we could very easily go get different type of of pussy. <laughs> <laughs> we can go see what pussy was like. No we, one wants to try and see what 1910s uh, every, Malaysian pussy was like. It's huh? all this like let's assassinate people and all this fucking evil shit. The cause the cause the problems that we're in right now. <laughs> I'm saying we go back to fucking 1412 and get some like. Some like some Saxon pussy. Some Saxon, yeah, dude. <laughs> <laughs>